Oh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. You got myself and Dave here again today with you, spitting all these beautiful facts about red light, light, life. But today, we're gonna dive into circadian rhythm, our body's internal clock, and sleep. And how red light can potentially, I always say mitigate, mitigate, yeah. mitigate the side effects of these, these things that we're dealing with here. So as Brett was saying, our circadian rhythm, our internal clock, this is vital to our health because it dictates all the cellular processes that we go through from day to night. It's our 24 hour clock. Now we're diurnal creatures. What does that mean? It means we're designed to be awake during the day and asleep during the night. And it turns out we have a clock in our brain in the hypothalamus called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. And that is the clock that dictates what time is and sends the right information to the rest of our cells for certain processes that need to happen depending on the time of the day. Now here's where it gets interesting because that clock is actually entrained through sunlight. I only know of this recently because I did a little bit of research. Our eyes, these things right here, you got two of them, I got two of them. They're in control of receiving all of this light, every spectrum of light from UV to visible to infrared and red. After the light hits our eyes, depending on what frequency and wavelength this light is, we have two different receptors in our eyes. We have our rods and cones, and then we have our retinal ganglion. The rods and cones are the receptors in our eyes that are responsible for us humans being able to see. Intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells. These are the non-visual receptors. They're a non-visual photoreceptor. They're designed to absorb light, such as blue light, other spectrums, because then that goes through the optic of our nerve, and depending on what time of the day it is, that depends on the certain frequencies or the strongest frequencies of sun blasting out at that particular time, we absorb that through our eyes and through our skin. Blue light plays a very important role in our circadian rhythm because when we wake up in the morning and look at the sun, we're getting that natural blue light that is coupled with the red light. As I was saying in the last video, with all these devices, with the alien artificial blue light that isn't coupled with red light, that is what is destroying our circadian rhythm, mainly because we're using this light at night, like we are now, and it is blocking melatonin production and telling the brain to increase our stress hormones because it thinks it's daytime. And this is causing so many problems in the human body, so much chaos. The way to mitigate is to put on blue blocking glasses. I would also recommend setting your circadian rhythm by going outside first thing in the morning and getting that natural sunlight on your skin, through your eyes, because you're getting that good blue light that is coupled with the red light. But another practical thing you can do that can help regulate your circadian rhythm is I use the Firewave model from EMR Tech and studies have found one particular study that if you use red light therapy using red and near infrared light and you put it on your body it can actually increase melatonin levels and melatonin is also very important for a circadian rhythm as it helps give us restorative sleep which blue light blocks. So this is a cool way to increase your melatonin levels while wearing the blue blocking glasses to block out the artificial blue light. You're gonna be pumping out melatonin, you're gonna get great restorative sleep, and that's gonna make a huge difference on your health. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, Dave, with the facts, that's correct. You are correct. <laughs> we, we have the fire wave here, and this is Dave's. Dave has had this for like the last few years. Yeah. So Dave's, Dave's not new to red light therapy. Me on the other hand, I am. And I've also been asking Dave multiple times to pour this in the mornings. It's a great way in the morning to just get your cells rapid firing. You're gonna be a step ahead of everybody before their day even starts because of this red light. That is the video for today. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.